Now, the number one way, as we said, was by the laying on of hands. That's what you see Jesus do. It's what you see the, believe, the uh, disciples do. But then the second way is with a word, with a word of command. Now, like I said, the laying on of hands is the lowest level. Why? Because you have to actually be physically present. Do you get that? If you have to be physically present, that makes it the lowest level. I can't lay hands on you if you're not physically present. Is that right? The highest level, and the reason we say it's that way, because the laying on of hands is, actually follows a law that's called the law of contact and transmission. Yeah. Right? So you contact them and you transmit to them. That's the lowest level. Many times that's where uh, some carnal people would be at, or this has got to happen. Now, the, the next up, as I said, would be a word of command. And that word of command is simply, what makes that better is that you don't have to be in their presence. You can speak it at a distance. Uh, even, you know, we even use telephones to call and talk to people, but that's almost like in their presence. But then you can also speak and command Jesus with the Roman centurion servant. The, the, the centurion was there, but the servant wasn't. And if you'll notice, and here's, you know, I, I, don't, know where, I don't know where you are necessarily yet. I mean, I haven't talked to, I mean, I talked to you and I'm encouraged, highly encouraged by what I've already heard. But I don't know where each individual of you is at. Does that make sense? When he told him, notice what Jesus said. It was really amazing. After he said, I have not found this kind of faith in you guys, you know, to the Israelites, he said, when he turned back to the Roman centurion, he said, go your way as you have believed. Actually, he said, according to your faith, be it done. In other words, what you've already said. Notice he didn't say, servant, be healed. He never prayed. Do you get that? I'm trying to get you to stretch. Don't think it's a formula prayer. Don't think it's a certain way of praying. Even though it can be mechanical at times, it's not a formula in that sense. In other words, remember when Jesus... At one point, uh, he was healing the um, palsy. Well, I actually did it a couple of times. But there was a man with palsy lying on a pallet. And he goes to the man and he tells him to stand forth at one point. And so, oh, actually before that, that was the guy with the withered arm. But he said, he, was, he told him to stand forth. And the Pharisees, uh, they were getting ready to jump on him, right? Why? Because he's fixing to heal this guy on the Sabbath. Wrong day to heal, Right? And so he's fixing to heal this guy and they're all waiting and he turns around to him knowing their thoughts and says, which is easier to say? Your sins be forgiven or rise and be, you know, rise and be healed? Which is easier? You think, well, he should say healed because he was sick. No, but he had told him, your sins are forgiven. He said, son, be of good cheer. Your sons are forgiven you. Your sins are forgiven you. Amen? Do you see that? Yeah. So what does it matter? Does it matter which statement? Okay, let me put it this way. Um... Let's say you go, I'm trying to figure, there's somebody in jail and you're a lawyer and you go in there or you're somebody, you know, somebody, I don't, it doesn't matter who at this point, but you go visit this person in jail, but you have the authority to get that person out. So you go in there and you talk to this person. Now you got a guy with you there that has the keys. You're talking to this person and you decide not to whatever, press charges or whatever it is. And you say, now, does it matter if you say, all right, get him out of here. Or is it okay to say, uh, let him go? Uh, is it okay to say, all right, set him free? All three different statements, right? But the same intent. Do, do you get it? Does it matter which one you say? No, because it's the intent of what you're saying. When Jesus said, your sins are forgiven, arise and be healed, it was the, tent, the, the intent was, you are free. Do you get that? And that's what he came to do. 